Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the new YouTube video. Today, I'm going to show you everything that you can wear in Escape from Tarkov and what I think would be the best outfit to stay stealthy. Let's get right into it. If you guys don't know, I stream on Twitch every day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. Also, if you like these types of videos and you would like to see more, please don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. There's a lot of clothing you can unlock or buy in Escape from Tarkov. Today, we'll go through all of them. I'll show you what I prefer and what would be the best for each scenery. You cannot unlock all of them at the beginning. Uh, for some, you need higher levels and for some, you have to go do specific tasks. But we'll talk about those later. Disclaimer, I chose Yusek as my character, so I can only show you Yusek clothes. But I'll show you screenshots of other clothing for Bear as well. In order to even get to clothing, you need to go to Trading and click on Ragman. In the upper part of the screen, next to Tasks, you'll see Services. Click on that and you'll see everything. There are currently 9 options for upper body and 8 for lower body as a USEC. We'll start with the upper body first. First one is just a default green camo jacket. This is how you look when you just buy the game. Next up we have Aggressor TAC which looks like a green bomber jacket. This clothing you can unlock at level 13 for 75,000 rubles but only if you have Ragman royalty level 2. Next one is called Commando and it is a green long sleeve shirt. This one you can unlock at level 31 for 155,000 rubles. Again, if you have Ragman loyalty level 2. Fourth one is called Soft Shell Flexon and it is a brown winter jacket. This one you can unlock at level 25 for 130,000 rubles if you have Ragman loyalty level 2. Fifth one is called Woodland Infiltrator. This is a shirt with camo sleeves. Unlocked at level 40 for 310,000 rubles and Ragman loyalty level 3. Next up, we have a PCS Multicam. It is a camo jacket and it can be unlocked on level 45 for 400,000 rubles and Ragman loyalty level 3. Next one is called PCU Ironside and this one can be bought at level 7 for 40,000 rubles. You can buy it with Ragman level 1. Last few pieces can only be unlocked if you finish specific tasks for it. Like you can see right here. For Attic Tracksuit, you have to kill Killa a hundred times. And for Textile Quests, you have to find Fabric Pieces and other items in Raid. Okay, now let's see the pants. First one, again, are just default green pants. Next up, we have Gen 2 Kibber Pants. These are unlocked at level 28 for 150,000 rubles. After those, we have Woodland Infiltrator Pants, which are a great combo with Woodland Infiltrator Shirt. These ones are unlocked at level 38 for 230,000 rubles and Ragman Loyalty Level 2. Next ones are called Ranger Jeans, and these are unlocked at level 16 for 100,000 rubles. Fifth pants we have are Tag Life Terrain pants. These are unlocked at level 6 for 25,000 rubles. Sixth one are Pacris pants, and these can be unlocked at level 36 for 200,000 rubles and Ragman Loyalty level 2. Last unlocked pants are Tier 2 pants. These are unlocked at level 43 for 350,000 rubles and Ragman Loyalty level 3. And for the last pants, we have Commando ones, which have just been added to the game. These are unlocked after Textile Part 1 quest. The best combo, in my opinion, would be the Woodland Infiltrator combo. The colors are just perfect for every map and you can blend in with the nature. For example, if you wear this SSH or what we Tarkov players call that a penis helmet and a 6B 3TM armor rig, it'll be a perfect combination. You can also put on the Shimag, which makes the combo even better. Mm -hmm. 
Since I don't have a better character, I will leave a screenshot of the clothing options that I found on Tarka Wiki. You can see the level requirements and cost for each. In my opinion, I would choose the Summerfield combo. It has perfect colors to blend in with the nature and get cheeky kills. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below, subscribe, and turn on the bell for the future notifications. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Peace.